Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we'll do a tutorial on uh, I Am Thine, O Lord, another hymn. Uh, we'll play it in the key of G. And if you haven't done so, please do subscribe and give me that thumbs up if you like the tutorial. I'll play it once and we'll break it down into parts. All right, so let's break that down into parts. Okay. I'll play uh, the first measure. Okay. So the two notes before we start the measure is the second string, open, and then the first fret. Okay. And we're gonna go into the D, but before we hold the chord, we're playing the second string and the fourth string. And then the third string, okay, and then hold the D, and then we're gonna play the third string again, and then the fourth, third, fourth, third, and open second string. Okay, so it's okay. so I just lifted up that D on that last uh, note there. Okay, next measure we go into the G. Okay. So the sixth string, okay, and then the third string, second fret together. Okay, so it's and then the fourth string, which is open, and then open, lift up the third string, open, and then back to the fourth, and then we're gonna play the third string but with the bass note together. And then back to the fourth, and then the third, okay, and then fourth string on the fourth fret, okay, so it's okay. All right, next we go into the C. Okay, so just hold the C chord, and we're playing the fifth string and the fourth string together. And then the fifth string again, and then the fourth string, fifth string, fourth string, and then the third string, and then the fourth string. Okay, so it's okay. All right, next we go into the G. Okay, so we're playing the sixth string and the fourth string for a quarter note here. And then third string, fourth string, second string, fourth string, second string, and then second string, first fret. Okay, so it's... All right, next we go into the D, and this uh, is the same as the beginning, the first measure we played. So it's a uh, second string, fourth string open, and then the third string, and then third string again, second fret, fourth string, third string, fourth string, third string, and then second string open. Okay, next measure is a G. So the G, the sixth string, and the third string, second fret together, okay? And then we go into the fourth, and then open, lift up that middle finger, and we're playing the third string again, open, 
fourth string open and then the third string open with the bass note okay and then back to the fourth and the third string second fret first string open so it's Next we go into the C, okay. so we're going to hold the C and play the 2nd string and the 5th string together, and then the 4th string, and then 2nd string again, and 4th string again, and then the D, we're going to just slide it to the 2 frets, so we're going to play the 5th uh, string on the 5th fret, and then the 4th string on the 4th fret together. So play together, and then the 5th string again, and then 4th string, and 5th string. Okay, so it's... Okay, next we go on to the G. Okay, so... We're going to hold the G chord and play the 3rd string and the 6th string together and then the 4th string and then 2nd string, 4th string, 1st string, 3rd string, 2nd string and then 2nd string, 1st fret. Okay, so it's... Okay, next we go into the G. So G, we're going to put the pinky on the 2nd string, 3rd fret with the bass note together. Okay, and then the 4th string, 3rd string, 4th string, and then the 2nd string, lift up the pinky so it's open with the 6th string together. 4th string, 3rd string, 4th string. Okay, so it's... Let's go into the C. Okay, so hold the C, and this time the pink, the middle finger goes on to the third string, uh, third string, second fret. So with the bass note on the fifth together, fifth string and the third string together, and then the third string open, and the fourth string on the fourth fret, fourth string on the second fret, and then the G for a quarter note. So we're playing the third string open, and then the bass string on the third fret, sixth string for one beat, and then third string open, and then the fourth string on the fourth fret. Okay, so it's... Next is a C. Okay. All right. So we're gonna play the fourth string and the fifth string together, and then the fifth string again, and then the third string, and then the fourth string, and then we're gonna go into the A minor. So the second string and the fifth string, and then the fourth string, and then. The second string open, lift up that index finger and then back to the fourth. Okay, so it's okay. Next we go into the D. Okay, so we're holding the D fourth and the third string together for one beat. Okay, and then second string. 3rd string, 1st string, 3rd string, and then open 2nd uh, open string, and then 1st fret on the 2nd string. Okay, so it's... Okay, next we go into the G. Okay. So hold the G and we're going to play, hold the 2nd uh, string pinky on the third fret okay together with the bass second string and the uh, sixth string and then the fourth
fourth string and again second string fourth string and then we're playing take the pinky off second string open with the bass note on the six together fourth string again second string and then fourth string again okay so it's measure C okay so hold the C fifth string third fret and third string second fret together and then third string open and then the fourth string on the fourth fret fourth string second fret and Hold the C and strum from the fifth string down all the way. And you can hold that it's as long as you want. And then we play the second string open, third string on the second fret. Okay, so it's Okay, next we go into the G. So next we go into the D, the open, uh, the second string and the fourth string together, and then the fourth string again, and then the third string, and then third string, second fret. Okay, so it's uh, so it's uh, okay. All right, next we go into the G, the last measure. Okay, so the arpeggio there is a sec third string and the sixth string together, and then the fourth, second, fourth, first, fourth, third, fourth. Okay, and that's it. I hope that was uh, helpful in any way, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.